So before we get into 10 manifestation techniques, I just want to make it clear that it's all about your intention. If these techniques are something that you enjoy and that you want to do and they work for you, great. If you don't like doing it, if you have some kind of block and you don't believe in them, then don't do them. Doing techniques isn't going to reprogram your mind. That really is the key with anything that you're trying to manifest is reprogramming your mind and your belief system around whatever it is that you're trying to manifest. Because if you look at affirmations, those actually change the neurological pathways in your brain to adapt a new belief system. And in my opinion, and I don't want to push my limiting beliefs on you, but techniques just aid you to do that. They help you get into the feeling and into the state that you already have your manifestation, which is the key to manifesting. So I want you to think of it as kind of like, say you're, you know, 15, 16, whatever the age is when, you know, you can start to drive. You get behind the wheel of a car and you start to learn how the car works, how to drive and going through the actual motions. That's kind of like what affirmations are. So they are like on a different level than techniques. They're not a technique, they're the machine. Now you could sit there and read about how cars work and how to drive, but you can't learn how to drive a car by just reading about it and studying it. You actually have to get behind the wheel. So techniques are kind of like reading and learning about it in a sense that like they're super helpful. They aid you in being able to manifest, but you still have to reprogram your mind and do your affirmations. So we're not going to be talking about affirmations today. If you do want to learn about affirmations, I will put that video right here. Hello love bugs, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Sarah and I created this channel to help you build a more fulfilling and loving and beautiful life through self mastery and spirituality. And today, we're going to go through 10 different manifestation techniques. I'm going to just give a brief overview of each one so we don't make this video too long, but if you do want a more in-depth video on any of them, just drop it in the comments below and I will absolutely do that for you. I do wanna say that I've done every single one of these techniques. Some of them I really like, some of them I don't. I'm not gonna tell you which ones because again, I don't wanna put my limiting beliefs on you. And the whole point of this video is to give you options to figure out if you want to do these and which ones you want to try. So the first one we're gonna talk about is called the whisper technique. So a lot of people that practice this technique do it specifically on other people that they want to do something for them, something they're trying to manifest from another person. It doesn't have to be that way. Um, it's totally up to you how you wanna do this. So what you wanna do is you know, close your eyes and imagine that you're actually approaching the person that you want something from and you pretend to go up to their ear in your mind and visualize it and actually whisper what you want them to do. So an example of this would be, say you want a promotion at a job. So you will close your eyes, go through the process, imagine going up to your boss and whispering in their ear, you are choosing me for this promotion. I am the one you're giving the promotion to in whatever language you know works best for you. Number two is sex. So this stands for state akin to sleep. Another way I like to view this as kind of the theta state that your brain is in right in between awake consciousness when you're awake and just living your life and you're, when you go into unconscious mode when you're asleep. So it's that kind of like middle ground right in between the two where you're kind of like sort of slipping into dream world and unconscious world but you're kind of still with it. And this is really beneficial because this is when you're subconscious is the most open to suggestion. This is what they do when they do hypnotherapy and things like that. So you can suggest things to your mind as you're falling asleep and it's going to penetrate your subconscious a little easier than if you're just awake like I am right now or like you are watching this video. So what you can do is when you're laying there in bed and you're falling asleep, you can either repeat affirmations in your mind until you fall asleep, like into sleep, or you can imagine a scene of something that you want and put it on a loop and just imagine that happening again and again and again in your mind exactly as you want it as you fall asleep. If we're going back to the example of getting the promotion, you could do something like, you know, visualizing that 
your boss is calling you and saying, hey, congratulations, you got the promotion. I'm really trying my best not to give my own personal opinions on this video, but I just feel like there's something really magnificent and truly spectacular about the dream state. And so, you know, I really love this one. <laughs> All right, number three, this is water cups. So if a lot of us know that water holds a lot of energy in it. It's a very fascinating thing. Um, the way that different waters crystallize when it goes through different paths, it can kind of hold things almost like holding memories. So water is very powerful if you do use an intention to use it in a positive way. So there's a bunch of ways to do manifestation techniques through water. I'm just going to give you one today, and that is the two cup technique. So you're gonna take two cups, you're gonna put your current reality on the first one, and you're actually gonna fill that up with water. And then you're going to put your desired reality, whatever that is, on here. So you would actually write down, you know, I currently have $2,000 in the bank and I want $10,000, whatever it is. And then what you do is you kind of just speak over the cup that the water is in and you talk about all the things you would feel and what you would do and blah, 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 if you had that desired result. And then what you do is you just simply pour it into the other one and you drink it <laughs> okay number four is the three six nine method so what you're going to do is write down whatever it is that you desire three times if it's a person write the person's name if it's a job promotion write the job promotion if it's health then write that down whatever it is three times then after that you, you write the event of it happening six times so my boss just called me and gave me this promotion. My boss just called me and gave me this promotion, whatever. And the last part of this, which is the nine, is writing how you would feel nine times. I am so excited and honored to be given this promotion that's going to help me buy my next house or whatever it may be. So that's a really simple method. It does take a lot of writing. So if you like to write, this one's probably for you. If you don't, it might not be. I don't know, try it out. Number five. Scripting. So you kind of want to think about scripting as journaling, but from the point of view of your desired reality. So if we think about regular journaling and if you need help with figuring out how to journal, I do have a video for journaling on beginners and I will put that right here. But what you want to do is journal from that state. Ugh, it's fucking fly. So say for example, you want to be married. You would write as if you already are and all the things that you guys would be doing together, how you'd be feeling, where you'd be living, whatever your desire is with that in the present tense. And in my opinion, the key here is to try to involve all five of your senses when you're writing this down. What are you thinking? What are you touching? What are you feeling? What are you hearing? What are you smelling? And just really put yourself in that moment of how you would be journaling from the point of that desire already happening for you, already being your lifestyle and the way that you're living. Okay, number six. Oh, again, try not to give my opinion. <laughs> this is the I remember when technique. So all you do is say, we'll go back to the $2,000 example. I remember when I only had $2,000 in my bank account, but now I have $10,000 in my bank account. So it's almost like you remember when, like it was in the past of whatever it is that you're currently experiencing and then your desire is the second part of that sentence. I remember when I was living at my house by myself, but now I'm in a beautiful, loving, committed relationship. I remember when I couldn't find a job, but now I have all sorts of companies calling me. I remember when I was 200 pounds overweight and now I feel strong, healthy, and lean. Those are just a few examples, but um, that's a very simple one that you can kind of just do anywhere in your head, on paper, doesn't really matter. Number seven, this is vision boards, which I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen. Um, if you're a crafty person, this is probably something that you'll really enjoy doing. And all you want to do is just print out a bunch of pictures or get them from a magazine or wherever you want to. If you're super crafty, you can draw them, <laughs> whatever you want. And then you can either put it on your phone, you can put it on an actual board, and you just sit down in front of that each day for however long you want. You can do two minutes, you can do 10 minutes, you can do an hour, it's totally up to you. And just visualize yourself within those scenes of those pictures. 
I'll show you mine. So here are the vision boards that I made. As you can see, I really enjoy collaging. So that's kind of what I did with both of these. Um, so, you know, just put all the things that you desire, that you want, that you want to work for, that you want to manifest and just put them on a board in a way that's fun for you. You don't have to do a collage like I did. Um, you can just do a few pictures if you want. You can put this on the back of your phone and uh, you know, whatever you feel like doing. Number eight, and these are subliminals. So a subliminal is essentially a music track that has a specific type of frequency that is supposed to penetrate your subconscious mind combined with different messages, affirmations, whatever that your conscious mind, your ears in this 3D reality cannot hear, but it does get into your subconscious. You can do this really any time of the day, you know, just have it going on in the background if you'd like. I like to do it when I'm going to sleep because I feel like I do a lot of these affirmations and some of these techniques here and there during my waking hours, so this way I can kind of do it while I'm sleeping as well. Number nine, this one is very simple and that's just plain visualization. So obviously throughout this video, you've heard me talk about visualization a few times with the other techniques, but if you want to just do it on your own, you can do that. Think about when you're daydreaming or when you're having a mental conversation with someone or when you're just imagining a dream situation for yourself. And again, just like with the 369 or the scripting method, you really want to try to get all five of your senses involved. If you want to own a house that's right on the beach, you know, when you wake up in the morning, what are you seeing? What are you feeling? What are you hearing? What are you smelling? And really just get yourself into that mind and see that scene from the first point of view. So from your own point of view. Um, I know sometimes I have a little bit of trouble with that because for some reason my brain works with like seeing myself in third person. I don't really get that. Um, <laughs> but I would recommend if you can to do this in first person to make it seem as real as possible. And number 10, which is truly my favorite manifestation technique, even though it's much deeper than that and I wouldn't necessarily consider it like a technique that like the other was that I've mentioned in this video. But I do believe this to be the most powerful and the most soul fulfilling and that is prayer. Prayer combined with gratitude is really the basis of transforming yourself and, and like I mentioned in the beginning in my intro like self mastery and just giving thanks to God giving thanks to the Creator for everything that you have in life for thanking him in advance for giving you you know these things that you desire and you know just having gratitude for all that you already have so there you go that's 10 different manifestation techniques I hope you enjoyed this video like I said if you do have any questions or want me to go any deeper on any one of these please just let me know in the comments below and I will certainly make a video for you on that. If you also have questions about any of these techniques, just feel free to write them in the comments and I'll be sure to answer everything that I can. Have so much fun experimenting with these techniques and if you have any that I didn't mention that you've tried that you've really enjoyed, let us know in the comments below so that we can try them as well. I love you guys so much and don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and found it valuable and I will see you again next week. Mm -hmm.